Welcome to my channel, I'm Danny. Today is a look back on Miss USA's evening gowns from 2017 till 2021. Beginning with 2017 Kyra McCullough, let's take a look at her preliminary evening gown. This dress was stunning, I have to say so. I was at this pageant for the finals and she looked angelic. The way that this chiffon flowed on stage was beautiful. She wore this gown for the preliminary competition as well as for the finals competition. It was designed by Sherry Hill from Henry's Cloud Nine in Ohio. It's a really, really classic beautiful style but the one thing I want to note is how much better Kyra's performances got as she continued to compete so this was her Miss USA performance and now let's take a look at her preliminary performance for the Miss Universe competition for this she is wearing a gorgeous couture Sherry Hill yellow gown now we hadn't seen a Miss USA in yellow for years in fact I cannot remember the last time Miss USA wore yellow if she ever has it's obviously a beautiful color on Kyra. I was personally not a fan of the neckline of this gown, but I have to say I was very, very impressed by the way that she carried the dress. As you can see when she walks down the ramp that the dress tangles around her legs. I've been there, that's not something easy to do on stage or to move past, but Kyra handled this like a pro. And once again, like I said, I think that this performance was stronger than her Miss USA performance. For final, she also wore a Sherry Hill evening gown. This is because Sherry Hill at the time was the official evening gown sponsor for Miss USA. And I have to say this was my favorite look out of all of her gowns. It was so, so beautiful. It was the sexiest that we've ever seen, Kyra. I don't know that it needed such an open neckline with the high slit, but I still loved it on stage. I still thought she was beautiful in this. The hair up made a lot of sense and right here, I think was her best and her strongest performance. In 2018, Sarah Rose Summers of Nebraska wore a beautiful Sherry Hill gown. This was a custom style that was designed for her. This gown had a lot of volume and it really shined. This is the year that I competed with Sarah and I can remember talking with her backstage about this gown and I told her how perfect black was on blondes. I always thought that it looked so beautiful and it really popped on stage and well, it turned Turns out it worked pretty well for Sarah. This is the gown that she wore for her preliminary competition at Miss USA, as well as for her final look at Miss USA. Once again, Sherry Hill was still the sponsor. Although she wore the same gown, she did get rid of the necklace for finals. I can remember her asking me before finals, do you think I should wear this necklace? And I was like, no, I don't think you need the necklace. So she removed it for finals. Then Sarah competed in Thailand for Miss Universe and she wore this really beautiful silver gown. This is something very unique unique. It's not from your typical pageant designers. And I would say that her look was very holiday. You have to remember that this was also in December. So this red look made sense. I really liked that her hair was pulled back for this because I think Sarah has such a gorgeous face, especially on stage. So it's like show that off. And I love that. I love the straight hair looks on Sarah the most. Everything fresh and sleek and clean. Now, Sarah did place in the top 20 this year at Miss Universe, but she did not go on to the top 10. So we didn't get to see her recompete in a new evening gown. But if she had, she would have wore this gown that was later worn by Miss Oklahoma USA 2019. This was a beautiful evening gown that I wish we would have seen during finals at Miss Universe if Sarah had been in that top 10. I think it's lovely. And I like the ode to her name here because the gown is a rose gold. So Sarah Rose Summers, rose gold. It made a lot of sense. It was such a beautiful piece, but we did get to, like I said, later see it at Miss USA the next year. Remember, if you're a pageant contestant and you need more help for your next competition, check out my free pageant prep crash course that is linked in the description. At Miss USA 2019, not only was Sherry Hill the sponsor of evening gowns, but contestants were required to wear a Sherry Hill evening gown. This is different from years past when Sherry Hill was the sponsor, but we were not required to wear a Sherry Hill evening gown for preliminaries or for finals. So during 2019, each of the contestants wore one gown. We didn't see changes between the preliminary and final pieces that they wore. So Chesley from North Carolina wore this beautiful 
really simple Sherry Hill white gown. For this year at Miss USA, a lot of people were disappointed with the gown styles because we saw a lot of what we've seen in the past. Instead of choosing to wear a gown that we've seen in the past, Chesley's gown did seem to be a bit more original, although it was still a really simple and plain gown. I was at this pageant and I can tell you that when she stepped on stage in white and with the volume of her hair on stage, you looked right at her. She drew all the attention to her. So this was a really, really great gown for her as well as the styling. I really like that we did still see some shine on the gown with the draped stones on the shoulder. I thought that was really beautiful. For her Miss Universe gowns, Chesley wore two of them. The first gown that she wore for the preliminary competition was once again, Sherry Hill Couture. This is a beautiful dress, but I personally didn't like it for the preliminary competition at Miss Universe. I personally felt that there was a lot going on with this dress from the capped sleeves to the wide slit and then the tool side train. I also don't think that Chesley's final pose for this helped her. I think that she should have opened that tool up a little bit more to expose some leg just for that final pose. I would have preferred this gown style though if it was strapless. I think that would have changed the way I felt about this one. But going into final, she changed her gown into a mirrored style. After Chesley competed at Miss Universe and placed top 10, she released some photos of her fitting in her gold gown because she received a lot of criticism for this gown. I think that people were expecting a little bit more for finals and I would agree, but you never know how a gown is going to translate on stage. It's something that you figure out when you get there and all contestants sort of hope for the best. So when I saw this dress on Chesley in her fittings, I thought I can see how and why she she would select this gown. I thought it was beautiful and she may have thought that it would have translated a little brighter and lighter on stage and captured even more attention. I think that would have been the assumption for this gown that I probably would have made too. By the way, if you're loving the episode, please be sure to subscribe. In 2020, Sherry Hill remained the evening gown sponsor of Miss USA, which meant all contestants were required to wear a Sherry Hill gown. Asia Branch of Mississippi decided to wear a simple strapless classic black and white liquid beaded gown. Yes, she looked very beautiful in this piece. I think that it was a very safe style, but I think that that was very smart because it looked great. And a lot of times when contestants create custom wardrobe, things look a lot different in their head than how they do on stage. So in this case, I think it was better to be safe than sorry. And it really worked out in Asia's favor. She did wear this gown for the preliminary competition as well as for the finals. When she went to Miss Universe, she had a brand new gown for the preliminary competition. This was an orange and yellow ombre gown. I personally didn't love this asymmetrical neckline for this dress. I felt that the top half of the gown was giving me prom vibes. And this is the same neckline we saw on Kyra McCullough when she competed at Miss Universe for the preliminary competition as well. So I personally wanted to see something different for Asia, something a little bit more customized and personal. I'll also say that while the colors of this gown are very beautiful, I didn't feel like they especially complimented Asia. I think that there were better options for her. Since Asia was not included in the top 10, we did not get to see her final evening gown on stage. This ended up being a red couture Sherry Hill gown. I much preferred this gown to her preliminary gown, so I understand why she chose this gown for the finale. I thought it was a very, very beautiful style on her. I honestly wish she would have just wore it for both. L. Smith of Kentucky, who won Miss USA 2021, wore a custom couture Sherry Hill evening gown. This gown was featured in the New York Fashion Week collection that L. walked in. It was provided through Henry's Cloud Nine in Ohio. Initially, when I saw this gown during the preliminary competition, I thought that some changes could have been made to it by thinning out the straps. But when I finally saw this during finals, it was stunning. It was perfect. This gown was so spectacular spectacular under the stage lights. Elle really shined and she really stood out during a final lineup. So this obviously was the perfect gown for competition, perfect gown for her. 
In 2021, let's also mention that contestants were free to choose their designer. So even though she could wear any designer, Sherry Hill still ended up being the final choice that won. When Elle competed at Miss Universe 2021, she was dressed by the new evening gown sponsor of Miss USA, which is Michael Cinco. Michael has dressed many queens that have competed at Miss Universe, and he regularly dresses queens for their farewells at Miss Universe. He's a very talented Filipino designer that is based out of Dubai. For Elle's preliminary competition, we saw her wear this really beautiful haute couture green and nude gown. This is something that a lot of pageant fans were excited to see because it was so different from anything we've seen in Miss USA in in recent years. I thought it was beautiful. I thought that she walked so well in it and really carried this gown. For finals though, I was hoping that she was going to change her hair. We did get to see a gown change though, which is pretty common at Miss Universe. This was a very beautiful turquoise, sort of aqua sequence gown. I thought it was a beautiful gown and when Elle was in the final lineup, it did really make her stand out but I don't think that this gown was the best choice for finals. I just feel like there was something else from Michael's line that would have been better suited for her for the finals. Personally, I would have loved to see her in the yellow Michael Cinco gown that Nova Stevens, Miss Canada 2020 was supposed to wear last year. I think it would have been lovely to see that gown during finals for Miss Universe this year. There you have it. Those are all the gowns that our Miss USA's wore at Miss USA and Miss Universe since 2017. Let me know whose gown was your favorite or whose performance was your favorite. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you want to see on the channel next, and I look forward to seeing you at the next episode.